All right, guys, here we go. We got the uh, BK Precision 830A auto raging capacitor meter. I just uh, gave it a look over, cleaned it all up. It does take a nine volt uh, external power supply. I don't have it. It's running off of batteries right now. I don't know why you would want this hooked to a power supply, but up to you. You can either use leads. This does not come with any leads or you can just stick the capacitor ends into here if possible. Um, but if you're gonna test something in circuit, you're gonna need a set of leads. I didn't get leads with it, so it's not getting leads with it. Let's turn it on. I don't even know how to use it. I didn't look it up. This wasn't mine. Uh, I don't know if you auto zero, I guess that's it, auto zero. Um, I have this little uh, tester block here. It has a couple capacitors on it so we'll start there here's a 0 0.001 uf pretty dead on 1000 picofarad let's go to uh 0 0.01 uf 10 nanofarad perfect 0 0.1 uf 102N, that's good. And 1UF. See if we can get her down there. 1000, perfect. All right, so now I'll test the regular capacitor with it. See what the difference is. Uh, here I have a, uh, what is this? This is a 100UF 25 volt. So, see what we get. We're gonna, a lot of loss in this. I got like six foot cable on this right now so see if there's any difference we're in 13 okay let's see what i get just plugging it in uh, where is it positive here negative let's see what we get 113 ah same look at that pretty good i wonder what i get on a regular uh let's use this one check this out see what i get on here curious myself Let's uh, plug these in. And what do we get up top here? Uh, this thing takes a long time. I don't know. You can't even see it. So I'm getting, uh, here you go. Up on my meter, I'm getting uh, 108.4, which is close enough in my ballpark. So uh, that's at 100 hertz. I don't know what this tests at. I'd have to look the book up. I never looked it up. But that's one capacitor. And now we can do... Uh, here's a... Uh, let's go back to there. Here's a... Uh, 4UF. 4UF. Positive to negative. That I like that you could just do that. 3.71. And this thing, I just turned it on. I don't know if it changes with time. It might... Uh, see what I'm getting up here. How do we get up here? Let's take a look. Yeah, 3.62. So, yeah, they're both close. Of course, using hand grenades when it comes to uh, capacitor meters and getting readings. Uh, so, it's a nice little handheld unit, though. If I didn't have, like, five different other ones, I'd probably hold on to that because it's real easy to use. Um, takes a one-amp fuse, so if you don't forget to... Guys, I know these capacitors were discharged because I'm getting ready to put them in something. Take a, um, whatever you got metal, right? If they're new, just touch them to the metal like this, right? Make sure they're discharged before you stick them in there. You never, it says right there, discharge capacitor before measuring. You will ruin the meter, blow the fuse. Um, at least that one's fuse protected, so... I don't know how good the fuse protects it, but it is fuse protected. So that's it, guys. I don't know what I'm asking for this yet. Um, there's a serial number on it just so you could see that you know you're getting the same one I'm showing you. Uh, the back. How do I get this out? Oh, it's a pain. I both fingers. Come on. I'm getting old. Do this. There we go. Just show you that there's no... Uh, no corrosion inside. The terminal's not corroded on the battery, so and it won't come with a battery. I 
I don't like shipping with batteries, plus they're expensive now and I need it. So you'll need a 9 volt battery. And uh, that's it guys, I'll uh, post the price up with it. Um, there it is, nice clean, good meter. Do good on any bench. Like I said, I got so many of them, I don't know what to do with them. Let me see what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten meters I have. So <laughs> I think there might be more. But that's it, guys. Uh, 73s and uh, stay safe.